Hey there, welcome back. Uh, section 8, proportions and similar figures. There's your objective. Uh, we're going to be able to use proportions to figure our things out. This little squiggly symbol means is similar to. So therefore, we know that ABC is similar to FGH. Okay. So because of that, that simple statement, here's what we know. We know that angle A and angle F are congruent. Angle B and angle G are congruent. Angle C and angle H are congruent. And we know that side AB and side FG are in the same proportion as AC, FH, BC, GH. All three of those ratios are equal to each other. Okay. So let's look at how that's going to help us. All right. So we're told that ABC is similar to DEF. ABC is similar to DEF. And we want to find out the measure of X. Okay. So if ABC is similar to DEF, then BC and EF are similar, and AB and DE. So BC over EF, BC over EF. Let's say I let it I do those. That's blue. That's blue. This is red. And this is red. So we do the red and the red, and the blue and the blue. Okay. So the length of BC is 16, the length of EF is 12, the length of uh, BA or AB is 10, the length of DE is what we're looking for. We call that X. Cross multiply, 16X is equal to 120, X is equal to 7.5 okay all right what is AC okay, so this time we're looking to find out what that is okay. so we're going to use BC over EF And that should be equal to AC over DF. We know that BC and EF are 16 over 12. AC is what we're looking for, and DF is a measurement of 18. Cross multiply and solve it. Let you figure out what the answer is. All right, something called indirect measurement. Uh, we can use the information provided in this picture. Um, the sun's rays strike the building and the girl at the same angle. So the sun's up here and it's hitting both of them forming shadows. Okay. We wanna find out how tall is the building. Well, we know the girl is five feet and she casts a three foot shadow. We know the building is something and the building costs a 15 foot shadow, casts. So the girl's shadow over the building's shadow, so three is the girl's shadow, 15 is the building shadow, is equal to the girl's height, which is five, over the building's height, which is x. 3x equals 75, x equals 25 feet. That's how tall the building is. Okay. So without even measuring, we already know, based on all of the other data and based on the concept of proportions. Okay. A man who is 6 feet tall is standing next to a flagpole. So it might help to draw professional picture. 
That's right. I'm a professional. Okay, here's the flagpole. Look at that flag waving in the breeze. I'm not trying to say what country it is. Notice. Okay. The shadow of the man is 3.5 feet. The shadow of the flagpole is 17.5 feet. Set up a proportion. See if you get it right. Okay, you'll notice I skipped section three, problem number three. Take the time, look at it in the book. Um, I didn't want to use the state of Florida because we're not in Florida. And I didn't want to take the time to find a map of Thailand. I'm sorry. But this is similar. Okay. Uh, a museum wants to build a huge heart that people can walk through to be able to see what it looks like. Um, and it is the ideal size for a man who is 170 feet tall. What size would you expect the heart of a man to be if that man is six feet tall? So we are going to put, this is one way to do it, the heart of the giant man over the, sorry, the height of the giant heart over the height of the man's heart is equal to the height of the giant person over the height of the man. So the height of the giant heart is 14. The height of a man's heart is X. The height of the giant person is 170. And the height of the man is six feet. Ready? So now we're going to cross multiply to figure that out. So we're gonna take 14 times six, uh, which is 80. Four, and we're going to then divide that by 170. So x is equal to about 0 0.5. Okay, remember we're talking about that in feet. Sorry, so about half a foot. or six inches. And that's how tall a six foot tall man's heart would be. Okay? So we've used a model to figure that out. All right. Uh, a scale model of a building is six inches tall. The scale of the model is one inch is equal to 50 feet. How tall is the actual building? We can figure that out just logically, or we can use proportions to figure it out. We would do the scale of the building over the real height is equal to the scale of the model over its real height. So the one side would say 1 over 50, and then this one would be 6 over x. All right, a few practice problems on your own. And that is section eight, two left, section nine and 10. Uh, those videos will be shorter, but this one a little bit longer. Uh, hope, it, hope it made sense and uh, all right, see you.